What do you recommend? Beer. Can I have five of those, please? Four of those and a tap water. What? Look who it is. Wow, long time. Gary. Welcome, bienvenue. Welcome. Tell me how The World's End is related to Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead and how the three of them are linked. No. You don't think they're linked? No, I'm you not really have telling. a lovely husky voice today. <laughs> and is it always that husky? Was screaming last it night. It happens sometimes, yeah. We can talk about the world's end, which yeah. is a lot more fun, I think, than my. We, I don't know. At this voice. point in the day, your voice is more fun. <laughs> no, uh, we we basically made a film ten years ago, Shaun of the Dead. Right. We all we've all seen it. Um, have you seen it? Oh. Um, <laughs> And I like to watch myself in things. It was a zombie film, a zombie comedy. We got to make another one, thankfully. We didn't realise we ever would. And, and in Hot Fuzz, we sort of developed certain themes that we'd started with Shaun of the Dead. And again, we took on a kind of big Hollywood-style film genre to say what we were trying to say. And when it looked like we were going to make three films, we realised that we could tie up the first two with the third one and, and make it like a piece, you know, make it like three films that you could watch in a row and get something from the relationship between them. They all exist very much individually as films. They're not sequels, you know. Right. They're not sequential. They are just... Well, they are, I guess, chronologically. Mm -hmm. What am I talking about? Um, <laughs> but they are all dealing with the struggle of, you know, the individual against the collective, mm -hmm. about uh, the protracted adolescence, about friendship, about love, about very human ideas that are put across with these superhuman kind of uh, genre tropes. So that was kind of, that's kind of become our thing for these films, hasn't it, mm -hmm. Nick? How do you guys relate to the characters with your own personal experiences growing up? Well, I am a suicidal alcoholic on the run, <laughs> so... And I'm a successful businessman with an atomic bomb of anger inside of him. <laughs> I think you always have to find something of yourself in your characters. I really wanted to like Gary, because Gary's very annoying. He's not an entirely likable character because he's very selfish, very driven by his own desires and his own ends. But I wanted him to be likable, and I wanted him to be very funny. So any amiability I have, I tried to give to Gary. But at the same time, I wanted people to be annoyed by him. So at the end, when they, they find out the truth of him, they go, oh, I shouldn't have been so hard. You guys sort of like almost switch places in terms of characters. Dynamically we do, yeah. Yeah, that's important. It's important to change things up. We take to think that people who pay their well-earned money to come and see us at the movie theatre see us doing the same right. stuff time and time and time again, you know. Even people that don't earn their money well. Even people that steal it. We wouldn't want to let them, them down either. Yeah, they're, they're valid as humans too. Edgar was saying that you guys have changed uh, quite a bit, you know, since the first one. Um, how has Edgar changed as a director? Well, he's, he hasn't really changed as a person, has he? He's still a no, he's still horrible, bad hair. horrible, rude little pig. Oink. I don't see that at all. In uh, Edgar, well, he's charming. You haven't had don't him let direct. Don't fall for it. Oh, he was God. a lovely man. Yeah, yeah. he was trying to be on prison. set and have him direct you. He's a monster. Horrible. Is there booze involved? Oh, well, sometimes. I don't sometimes. know. He's heroin in his trailer. <laughs> powder hanging out of his face. It's like, what are you doing? Sometimes are you guys you planning on working together again with him? Not with Edgar. No, no. Why should production have to pay for his Nuru massages? Come on. <laughs> we, we lost uh, 48,000 pounds on erotic massages. <laughs> the Edgar build. You should be thanking him then. Well, well he didn't give them. Back, you know. <laughs> are you planning on coming back to Mission Impossible with? I am, Wilson? yes. Awesome. I, I was having a chat with him the other day about it. Awesome. And it might just happen very soon. Keep your ears peeled. I will. <laughs> Maybe you'll see a new member of the team. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. We're just five friends on a night out, <laughs> having a good time. The world's end.